Feels like we're doing a drive bus, but we're not. Well, it's a mix, isn't it? Because oh, we're mixing no. it up on here. Look at that bra. <laughs> oh, no. That's a problem. Do you know what's a problem? Your white bra. This is like. <sighs> Welcome back. Oh. Mmm. Very good. This is like a mix of a drive bus and a muk bang. Muk bang. Muk. We're just eating and muk chatting. Bang. And we keep it real over here. Look at the state of us. Honestly, I feel like an oily, sweaty banana. Eyeliner smudged. I'm sweaty. We just filmed some videos because we're going away tomorrow. And we're also now in the queue for oh no. McDonald's drive through We really fancy McDonald's. And it's McDonald's. So good. I know. McDonald's. I love cheap chocolate. I have a couple of girls can notice from here. Can I have a chicken nugget meal, please? Yeah, do you want that six and one? Uh, nine, please. Do you want to come down a bit? Yeah. <gasps> Cheese buns. Oh my god, yeah, we should get them. Seriously, it was a medium or large meal? A uh, large. Large, yeah. Ew. Have you heard of the Mac Muck Bangs on YouTube? No, is that you guys? No. no. <laughs> it's like a challenge thing. Basically, you eat and chat. Oh. So that's what we're doing. We're going to we're filming it. Stop. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? <laughs> Should I turn it around? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so sick. I've actually heard of you guys. So those are people talking about you the other day. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Can I have the cheese bite? Did you add that? Yeah, please. Yep. Um, hamburger. Yep. I'm so boring at McDonald's. <laughs> uh, large chips. Yeah. And. Oh. Do you have the fry pies or. Yeah, do you want that large? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, please. And also a bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> do you, um, do you think you have, have all the cheese bites? They're like 10, but they're quite small. Oh, 10's quite a lot. Should we share? We'll share them. Yeah. Yeah, that's Any cool. For you? I think that's it. I think yeah. That's it. You okay? Yeah, cool. That's going to be 12.86. Lovely. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye. Nice to meet you. You too. It's causing havoc. In the Honestly. Oh, uh, so we just had to stop the recording because someone asked for a photo. And I didn't want to make her feel awkward. I but I think she out. was very confident anyway. I literally look. <laughs> my, my eyeliner smudge. I've eaten this whole chocolate I look a gothic. Freak. We've got so many rolls in this top. Whose idea was this? <laughs> my bra is hanging out. This is what you call a real mukbang. This is that is how you so say it? Real. I think it's like an unedited, like a real thing. Like we're literally gonna eat crap. Um, we're going on holiday tomorrow in a bikini. <laughs> Before we press record, we cut in front of this car as well. Oh my god! And we now they've watched us. They've watched us get a picture with someone. They're probably thinking, "Who are they? They must be such divas." Oh, barbecue sauce. Literally. Why have I asked for a large mukbang? <laughs> It's making me feel sick. Oh, I feel it. sick after that chocolate. I'm taking this hair out. It's ridiculous. I literally think the same. Ew. Why didn't we bring makeup wipes? We could have made this a slumber party. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Can I have some barbecue sauce too, please? Loads of it. There's a parking bay right there that's waiting. You can't stay there, I don't think. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's called Order Bay. Oh. Yeah, you. they send it to you. No, oh. I don't mean you can park there. Where should we park then? Or we'll go back. Or should we just go there? Yeah. I'm so hungry. I've just put my hair on. We haven't eaten today, really. We had a pink brie earlier, but like no proper food. Not that McDonald's is like proper food. Right, let's take this off. Let's get chill. I'm busting for I'm a week. Sweating. <laughs> Cheese balls. I said there was ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe, seven, eight, nine. Maybe she meant like ten. Nine, maybe they left one out. Maybe we should go back. So I don't eat chicken, as some of you are aware. Would you say a lot of the stuff in there is chicken? No. <laughs> I'd say it's quite half and half. I'm just quite a creature of habit. I love um, hamburgers. And I have since I was young. Like, as in, I've had the same meal in McDonald's since I was young. When we... No, were like, young. I don't think I've ever ordered something different. My biggest regret is getting the fried egg. You did not need it. I didn't. Do you know how sick it's going to make me feel after all the food and then a milky drink? Oh no. Someone's pulled up next to us. Yeah, oh my sorry. god, they put two gherkins in my burger. Fun back so don't eat them. Yeah, so I get my burger. Oh, I love their burger, it smells so good. Sometimes I even get two hamburgers. I love the onions in there, I love the mustard, I love the ketchup, but the gherkins are a no go. If I was with Chloe right now, I'd eat them. <laughs> you eat them. I'd eat them. Whoa. I'm sweating. Oh, so. that woman's legit waiting. Oh, she probably just heard me. She's legit in the waiting bay, waiting for food. I've never seen that happen. Have you? I'm sure she's waiting. Not opening. Oh, it's the waiting bay. <laughs> she's got no food. I don't 
don't get why you do that. How much food have you ordered? I think it's if they like need to cook something from fresh. What topics should we smash them? The bed chops. Conspiracy theories in general. I actually watched the Flat Earth one. I didn't even tell you. I watched the Flat Earth one. I was a bit convinced. I've not watched any conspiracy theories. Oh my theories. god. I've, I've just heard Lucy Flat talk at about you. them. I think it's going to laugh at you. I asked for nine chicken nuggets and I got six. So I think that guy's waiting for his food as well. We've got this space. Oh my god, there's two waiting babe. We'll just act dumb. The flat earth theory is that the earth's flat. You know all of the pictures that you see of the earth and like satellite and like space? Mm. They're all fake anyway. <gasps> Do you know what I think it is? They're taking on a GoPro. Because <sighs> GoPros make stuff curved. We're gonna have started a conspiracy theory. No. You haven't. Because when I take pictures of my GoPro, the beach, the beach looks curved. Right, anyway. The beach. Anyway. You was about to say the beach is curved. Yeah, and I was going to say, oh, no, because the world is flat. Sorry if you don't like people talking with them, like, food in their mouth, by the way. Like, I don't really do it, but, like, we're eating and talking in the same video, so. Got to be done. There's stories, like, people on flights that have had to make, like, emergency landings. If, let's say, they're going to one place, they reroute to another place, which on a round map doesn't make sense at all, but on a flat map, it makes sense because it's, like, closer. He's delivering their food. How do they know who's the two? Oh, maybe because we're eating ours. <laughs> theory of the world being round is a theory. Like, it's, no, it's not real, it's not a fact. The theory of gravity is, like, still a theory. I know that. what they say, because the sun spin, the sun goes round. The sun can't go back and forth on the line. <laughs> oh, I wonder, dear. It's all time. <laughs> it goes round, so when it's at Australia, it's night time for us. Sid, if you watch this video, you'll be convinced. Really? Uh -huh, yeah. So anyway, the bed shops. We just drove past them, um, a bed shop near where we live. It's closing down. And basically, people are like you never see people in bed shops that they're never busy, are they? And they always have sales. Yeah. DFS, your sales on every every day. So <laughs> sofa shop. Oh. They're supposed to be drug cartels. Yeah. Apparently they Broom has it. Stash all the cash under the beds. <laughs> oh, that's what they do. Oh, is that not what I it is? I just put it through the business. <laughs> You're I thought, they, hid I thought the... they hid it all in there. Oh my god. They put it through the business and then it's acting like they've got the business running. But no actual business is coming in. But then they're getting taxed on it. So you're not being smart really, are you? Unless you're under the 40% tax bracket. God, we've been learning a lot about tax lately, haven't we, Al? Yeah, literally. Accountants come through. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so long. I'm getting full. Good job I got stretchy leggings on. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a McDonald's proper meal in so long. I think the last time. Last couple of times I've had it, I've been drunk out of my face. Let's you get drunk quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, in the summer. You went to your first Hindu the other night, how was it? Mmm, it's so fun. It was that B at One, which if you don't know, it's one of our favourite clubs. I'd say it is our favourite. Yeah, in London. I think music makes a place. Honestly. It does, actually. I we like... don't like house music, do we? Don't ever ask us to go to a rave, because it ain't normal. We don't not, not like it, we hate it. Oh, I was gonna say, yes, I don't. I do not. <laughs> no, I do not like it. Why are you eating that like it's a yogurt lid? Do you not lick the lid of the sauce? Do you know what? Dan, sauce. Dan sauce. thinks I say words really weird, like sauce, sauce um, lasagna. Yeah, no, <laughs> he does think you say that for him. Yeah, but not that. Sauce and my dad says the, the name Nicole. 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 <laughs> Everyone says that. Uh, that I know too. Nicole. 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 It's Nicole. And Michelle. He says, Me, Shell. That's not how you say it. You know what Nan says when you catch up on something? She says, Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, Yeah, I'm going to watch it on Ketchup. <laughs> she does, <laughs> don't she? Yeah. That's your 10,000 calorie challenge. Have you seen that? Yeah. Most people... Sometimes I watch it if I'm hungry. I guess you do it easy. No, I don't eat. We should do it. Comment below if you think we should do it. How many calories do you think I've just smashed? It says in the box. These chips are 444. 250. Okay, so your meal is probably about 1,000. 10,000 of that is so Wait, much. Wait, is it in serious. a day or an hour? <laughs> in a day, not an hour. I'm really surprised you're egging it on. Only because it's for one it day. Will skin it. And like, we'll do it well, after we come back from all of our holidays. Because we'll, we'll, we'll starve we're ourselves. We're going to do it for Christmas, so we got a winter coat. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go out and buy it literally Krispy Kreme donuts fresh. That like will have a cheat day. Oh but my it'll god! Be a I'm excited for it'll it. Be a challenge. Mm -hmm. 
might as well eat the last cheese bar, even though I feel sick. So the Ellis Bechter. Is it new? Is she having me on? 2008. That's still not that old. I thought you were going to make that 80s. It sounds 80s. Come on. It's the 80s song I've ever heard. It's murder on the dance Really rubbish of things like this because this is supposed to be like a really chatty, deep conversation and we just start singing like we don't have it in us. What else should we do about then? No, I'm just thinking like sometimes like to be fair like obviously we're so chill and like laid back and I do think on YouTube people Are you getting deep? I'm getting a bit deep. Go on. I think there's certain things that like you shouldn't not talk about like I'd never be like why are you talking about that? Like I'm not, I don't judge anyone for anything. You judge me sometimes. Look at the state of me. Some things that people talk about I think is a little bit too personal. Not that I'm saying that you should because like obviously you do what you want to do. Like you do you I do think that the internet is there forever. Like things like will come back and haunt you. Like think of things like obviously this is extreme, but like Kim Kardashian, Holly Boom, we all know. And I do agree. Like you make the same mistake. Yeah, I was gonna say like when you're young and stupid, like obviously. But when you're doing it like as a career and like you're obviously, you have a big fan base and a lot of youngsters watching you. And you're at an age where it's not immature it's got breathe it really quick oh god this is so sick for this drink anyone can type our names in on youtube and find everything about us and uh, there's and I think, some things that we want to keep honestly like, once you've put something on the internet i swear to you something my granddad said to me when i was younger like you know when you first get twitter and facebook and stuff like people threatening your family to like stalk you and stuff <laughs> once i did a tweet with like a swear word in it like S H I T, which we all say. We all I'm not around. gonna say I'm a saint because I do swear in person, but I don't put it on. I don't swear a lot, um, but I we don't we we've chosen not to be like that on YouTube just because we don't want to promote that. Once my granddad saw that I'd done a tweet, and um, he basically, yeah, at the time was he's had his own company, and he was like, just let you know, if um, someone applied for the job at blah 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 and I was looking into employing them the first thing I'd do is I would type their name in on Google and obviously all their social medias would come up and if I saw like something bad like swear literally swear words bad mouthing someone um just anything like negative anything busy and negative he was like that would be it even mm. if I really like them as a person I don't think like if you're gonna put that stuff stuff like that out there it doesn't make you out to be a very nice person and not professional really i think think about what you put online before you do it be careful what you like share with everyone yeah. when you're younger because stuff can come back and bite you on the bum i do think as well like this is a scary fault <gasps> things that get deleted do they actually get deleted like even things like on our camera when we've deleted them or we thought we've deleted them there's a website where we what we thought would come in handy one day because we lost footage and literally Sid clicked on this thing every single video we've ever done and deleted we'll comes back up. up and you, you had to pay for it and it was like but silly money they were still but there could, like on that could, file you could see the like um not from now but you know that the little pause of the like clip like they just they don't disappear and like i feel like once something's out there more of the story just be careful and I think Nana always says it to us, doesn't she? Yeah, exactly. Like I think it has a lot to do with like how we've been raised. And I'm not saying that we've been raised perfectly and everyone else's like parents are not per like it's nothing like that. It's just like we've always been taught to just be careful. In the job we're in now, my nan she's like, if I could give you one piece of advice, run some if you're not sure about something, if you've got a gut feeling, run it past someone. Mm. Because normally if you've got a gut feeling there's something wrong with it. Mm. And I think that's like a really good idea. Like if you're gonna go do something stupid or if someone's convincing you to do something and you've just got like a little tingle and you're like something's telling me no, run it past your friends, <clears throat> run it past not don't run it past someone that's obviously a bad influence. Yeah. Run it past someone, someone with you. Normally, someone I'd you say trust. someone a bit older. Yeah. But if you're scared of telling your parents, if you've got an older cousin, if you've got an auntie growing up, I was really, really close to my auntie. So something I've been thinking a lot about lately is goal setting. A hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Don't let anyone put you down from that. I really... Right, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> right, I'm going to get a little bit deep, you know? If anyone follows Taylor Blue, yeah. 
she used to have a brand called hot mess clothing and she's done very well for herself and she is 24 i think just turned 24 and i've followed her for a few years and i admire her as a person this whole new skin thing if you want to do it good on you cool but like i don't like the way people just are always like Push incessantly pushing 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 i get yeah. that that's your job like if you've got to do that whatever through doing her company she's earning a lot of money and then she can get goals that she set yeah so going back from that she's always like plastered on her stories and stuff like oh i want this goal in a year's time and then the outcome is hopefully that she's made the money from her business so she's promoting that she makes loads of money and that you can get your goals too one thing i do really really like about her <coughs> is that she's always saying like set yourself goals work your way up if you've not got something to look forward to kind of thing i've just turned 21 i was 21 we're at an age where when nine about times out of ten people our age in our generation we're from area where it's not that easy to move out at the age of 21 we we are quite vocal about it with, around people mm. not like braggy but we're like oh we're planning this this and this we've got this on our goal board people and are stuff. interested as well and people are interested but do you know what i really like to hear like people are like excited for us rather than they're like do you think that's a bit stupid like you're young i'm not trying to do it quick i'm setting myself goals you're so planning you it can, it's just just there's right. no harm in that if i'm saying i'm i'm saving to move out doesn't mean i'm gonna move out at the end of this year like i'm in not no even, rush even not neck like do you know what i mean like saving takes time as well mm. and like even just telling someone that you're saving literally doesn't mean anything it just means you're putting a bit of money aside yeah i'm i'm saving to get a new car they're like why do you need a new car yeah. you've got a perfectly good yeah, car and it's yeah, like yeah. True. <laughs> my yeah, car true. is fine and I'm not bashing my car. My car's been a lovely first car for three years. It's not even the fact of like getting a new car, showing off, like yeah, I mean let's all admit it's nice to have nice things and part of getting nice things is to have them and show them. But like it's also a smart move with money. Like cars go down mm. in value and like we've had our cars like they're like from two thousand and eleven now, so obviously they're about nine no seven years old yeah so like there that's one thing i'd always say guys don't be like drawn in with getting a brand new no. car okay if someone buys it for you lucky you whatever it's literally a bumper car as your first car is shop. a bumper car yes. trees have long branches and okay you weren't driving into the tree but the tree is poking out it's going to scratch your car yeah anyway it's so off topic but don't <laughs> spend loads on a first car because honestly and don't get too hyped up in it and it's like learning to drive in that car yeah and like some people get like yeah it's a horrible i don't wish that i could go back to this age at all but the year that like, everyone getting cars and like getting i don't know getting new things it's a competition it's a competition it? and it's like that boy went to my college and did barbering it's competition and yeah it, i really wouldn't get caught up in like she's got a better car than me he's got a better car than me i'm gonna hold my hands up and say that i really wanted a fiat 500 and i didn't get it and i probably threw a bit of a bratty strop at the end of the day, novelty wears off. Mm. Like, don't it? Yeah. This is so been We're dragged right. out. This is how we talk talking on an everyday basis. Like, we jump from ship to ship, topic to topic. you got to keep up. What I was trying to say is, I think it's so good to set goals. I've set a goal for my the car I want next. And I'm not saying I'm going to get it ASAP, Rocky. I don't personally think you can afford something if you have the exact amount. The bag is £100. If you have £100, I don't personally think you can afford that car. If that's all you have, car, bag. When you go and buy that £100 bag, what have you got left? Then you're stuck there for a little while. Doing With a bag day. and no food. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, even Friends. to the point of you've got £110, so you get the bag. Yeah. No. I think try and have... Three times with stuff like bags maybe i'm not saying cars because obviously if a car's 20 grand you don't need three times the amount no but definitely with smaller stuff if you've not got three times the amount i don't think you can afford it things go wrong like it's always good to have money in the bank in case like eg you when, never know when your gearbox wrong. paid up and it was like two grand oh my good lord this is all part of us growing up and learning new but we're always like ringing like, each other saying random stuff aren't we yeah like i rung her obviously we're just starting to go through that stage like we said of needing an accountant and stuff and i'll ring her i'll be like did you know this and she's like oh my god i've literally just heard about that how annoying is that honestly like you've got to put money by for the tax oh stuff, and don't get me so started on the tax annoying. the tax brackets it's nuts 
it's actually it's nuts. nuts and i can't get my head around how it's been like this for so long and like it's Tax. not changed Literally why can't don't they teach you this it. in school it actually drives me it, up the that wall that is an unreal point stuff that we learn in school yes some people need maths some people need science i get that but i think if you're if Honestly, you're going to go do nursing i wish that i'd then wait. you should learn science i'd have wished that i've all them hours on algebra like it's ridiculous like i think if you i think if you want to do maths and you want to do science yeah learn basics but like unless you're serious about going into a job that needs it 100%. You don't right. need it. I like, couldn't agree more. When at the hell are we going to use science and math in what we do? Ever. Even if they just added that extra lesson that was like life. There should be a literal life lesson tax on stuff to do in the house. No bans. I know. I just don't. No, not even. No, no just like simple things like bills. Uh, they need to be educated mortgages. on mortgages. They need I to still be don't get educated that. on drinking, on drugs, on abuse. It, it infuriates me. I can't even tell you about it. I'm I, not saying that we are so educated on this stuff because no, we're not. We're and saying that's that why we're, we're angry not. about yeah. it. We're not saying that hun- everything we say is right. Obviously, it's an opinion. Mm. There's some people out there that are like, Tax is life. Yeah. There's got to be someone out there that agrees. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the person that put it in place. My nan calls him the tax man. <laughs> been about an hour. I think I'm literally seeing the sunset in a bit. I can't believe how deep conversations, how quickly they got deep. That is what I like. It's like, we could be walking in Tesco. <laughs> it'll be like, let me grab a sushi. And I'm like, do you know the country where they come from, like dogs? And then are... I'll be like, oh my God, Asia. We should go travelling in Asia. Mm. And then she's like, also, I really want to go to Australia. Yeah. And then, and then we're talking about surfing. And yeah. then we're like, oh my God, by the way. And then I'll be like... That surfer guy that I saw the other day was having McDonald's. Yeah. Should we go there? And then I'll be like, oh my God, surfer. You know Eao in Love Island? <laughs> Literally. And then I'm like, wait one sec. Like, I'll tell you in a sec. Can I just buy the sushi? <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it. I felt like it was therapy. I was going to say the same. That was really therapeutic. Wasn't it? I feel like this should... Obviously not the McDonald's like, is healthy obviously and we therapeutic. Chat, oh, we chat like this all the time, but like to share it with people is nice. Yeah, and I think, no joke, nice I feel like chat. these types of videos are so good because they're so real. And I think Jordan Litt's gone and hit the nail on the head when she said like, it's nice to just be able to put something like in the background while you're doing something else because it yeah. legit is just like sitting with your friends and chatting yeah it's a way to get to know us and i swear to you this is how we are we're gonna love you we're gonna leave you thank you guys for watching we if you enjoyed like this, this last night oh my god we if people like this we should just do like like take the mukbang idea and change it to <gasps> therapy the, session oh my god the wrong <laughs> oh my god <laughs> therapy session <laughs> to <laughs> therapy sessions we've seen i know i love that and we're not saying we're therapists we're just saying that we chat Anyway, this camera is a problem. Yeah, goodbye. Bye.